This guy called Caxon's making the final assessment on Suffolk. He's going to be there on my back during the most difficult day of my command. Of all the people to make final assessment, it has to be him. What's this about, sir? It's about a woman. What woman? His wife. Sam! Sam. Gotcha. <laughs> Andy Fellows was a Jags Jag. He may be gone, but he still lives in us all. None of us like these inquiries, but a man is dead, and we need to learn why. The inquiry found nothing untoward. They went looking for a cover-up of negligent maintenance. On the charge of attempting to strike a superior officer, how say you? Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Guilty, sir. I want you off my ship in short order, Lewis, so I make myself clear. Now get out of my sight. I love you, Mrs. Finner. I love you too, Mr. Finner. here for dinner. So what are we going to do? Wear sunglasses in the restaurant? Haven't you ever heard of room service? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's more like it. Sam! Hello, Mrs. McGuire. This is Donna. Hi. We're here for a wedding anniversary. What are you here for? Uh... Um... Have a nice evening. Donna. We're out of here. All of our hard work, Jenny, and it comes down to this. One word from Admiral Jarvis, pass or fail. We couldn't have asked more of the crew, sir. They responded to the best of their abilities during sea training. We lost the man. That's never happened before during Thursday War. Captain Caxton commended us on procedure during the fire. But has he recommended us for deployment? I guess that comes down to what he thinks of me. Would you take a grudge that far, sir? Never underestimate human nature. Good luck, sir! weekend. Well, I didn't see you at dinner. Or breakfast, for that matter. Well, you're probably just worrying about fast results, I expect. Donna, I believe, huh? It's a good job my wife's a solo discretion. <laughs> Not. Matt, just pick this up from the MCO. It's a message from Portsmouth Coast Guard. A small cargo vessel, the winter solstice is in trouble, seven miles bearing 220. Right. Tell the Coast Guard we'll go to assist navigator. Let's head for their last reported yeah, position. Right. 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 Court 25, right. 220, right. evolution right. to 80. Hero, scramble the recce party. Do you hear there? We are currently closing a small coaster that is reportedly in trouble. Our ETA is 13 minutes away, Port Seaboard. 
Away, Port Singleton. Winter Solstice, Winter Solstice, this is Warship Suffolk. What is your status? Over. Suffolk, urgent assistance needed. Please help. Fighting team required. Forward now, section bases close up. <coughs> this is Suffolk Emergency Rescue Team. Is anybody there? Oh, God! What are you doing? We need to run out the fire pump. We've lost all power. Oh, God, I've got to get on deck. Party. This is Suffolk. Request situation report. Fire is spreading. Village is searching for missing person. As soon as we find her, we will evacuate the ship. Over. Telsic base, prepare for casualties. Mum. <sighs> Can't just wait in here. I need to find her. Everything is being done, Mrs. Clark. We all need to find her. Amy, don't! Remember this. Oh, oh, daughter. Oh, Where's the other one? It's back for a Mickey. I'll go check. She's not breathing. What the hell? Hey, get back here! We've got fuel in these drums. We've got a time coming out, man. Put time and get them on the board. Thursday war was not a good day for Suffolk, an extreme situation in which an able man lost his life. It should be understood that the previous three weeks of sea training must be reconsidered in the light of Suffolk's performance during that afternoon. However, I have to state that Her Majesty's warship Suffolk, under Commander Brooke, met and, in most cases, exceeded standards of performance and discipline required of a serving warship. It is therefore the decision of Flag Officer Sea Training that Suffolk is fit for operational tasking. Congratulations, Martin. You did an outstanding job under extremely difficult conditions. Thank you, sir. Yes? 
I'll tell him. On Suffolk, I never had a chance to express my condolences, sir. Now I'm having to rush back. I'm very sorry. About Lynn's death or about your affair? Both. I was young. I didn't even stop to think about the consequences. You weren't the only one. My wife had two weaknesses, drink and men. But I can't absolve myself of guilt. I was away at sea for too long. Well, I just wanted to say that I'm grateful that Suffolk wasn't penalised for my personal failings. The Navy needs good captains commanding good ships. My job is to identify both and recommend them for deployment. Now, whether you make a good human being, that's not for me to judge. There's light tubes for 24 hours. Other than that, right as rain. Cheers, mate. How are you really feeling? Uh, like I smoked three packets of fags while taking Mike Tyson the full distance. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey. You saved my life. Bollocks. You did the same for me. So we're equal then. Aren't we? Yeah. How long does she need the oxygen? Not too much longer, Mrs. Clark. She had a lot of smoke in her lungs. The scouts got her out just in time. Next time, leave your stuff behind. All right then, Mr. Clark. Well, we've been playing the piano for a while. Never played it that much anyway. Can I help you, sir? Uh, the captain's back on board. Thanks for informing me. You, uh, left this in my bag? I'm working, Sam. Maguire's been sniffing around, OK? His wife has no idea who I am. Now, if you don't mind. I'm going. All right, sir. All right, Jim. Um, the captain wants to report an injuries from the winter solstice ASAP. I've already briefed the XO. Yeah, nobody wants full reports on all those involved, personally. Whose is that bracelet? It's mine, sir. OK, well, just make sure it's stored in the proper place, eh? Right. You're all confident, aren't you? Pass, fail, same odds. It's those bastards at first, isn't it? Not selling much weight, they'll jump. Hey. But get this right. Dave Finnan is released from Chokey today, just as we get the results. And? Well, a bookie's got to look at fate. It's the mystical workings of the world. Right, I'll go for the past Caribbean option. Popular choice. It's called wishful thinking, now. It's called not wanting to freeze your tits off near a rock in the South Atlantic.
Teresa. Doing here? Oh, cheers. Welcome home. You said you wouldn't be back till the 7th. What have you been doing? Place is like a bomb's in it. Well, I've been up all night. Janie's been sick. Sick? What do you mean, sick? Running a fever. I couldn't get her down. It's been going a couple of days now. You see the doctor? She's, I've just come from the doctor. She's okay now. I kept me waiting hours. Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't want to worry you. I mean, you're just as bad enough without me and Janie. We were going to have a party. We, we will have a party. I missed you. I missed her. I miss so much. Oh, and tomorrow I'm back on the Suffolk. Maybe next week we'll get deployed and I'll miss you for another six months. Tonight we're together. come a long way since we met three months ago. Yes, sir. We all have. Mr. and Mrs. Clark are in the wardroom, sir. OK. I'll be on. Um, sorry, sir, but... Frost? You better wait for their announcement. Yes, sir. They are awaiting, sir. Why don't you tell the clerks to join us in my cabin for dinner? We can talk then. Here there. This is the captain. As you know, I received the result from FOSS this morning. I will let you know the details of the report in due course. But I want to say that I'm proud of the way the ship's company has handled itself over the past three months. Suffolk is passed for deployment. Oh, yes! Oh, I can't believe it. That's wicked. Oh. Oh. All right. Go for a Yankee. Brand new ball. He's at the rocks, mate, and refuses to sing. Bloody Will from a Caribbean Yankee comes in. Oh, yeah, mate, we'll <laughs> Scouse in a white shirt. That one. Scouse? I'm Amy. You've uh, scrubbed up nicely. Thank you. I don't know when we're going to leave the ship, but I don't want to go without saying thank you. It's no problem. Just kiss a life. Anytime. All right, well, um, I'll keep that in mind. So, um, what do you do on this ship, then, when you're not rescuing damsels in distress? I'm the, um, I'm the captain's steward. All oh, right. The power behind the throne, eh? Yeah, sort of. Well, I clean the throne when he's finished sitting on it. <laughs> Funny as well as brave, aren't you? Not that brave. Well, yeah, maybe just a bit. All right, Jimmy. Something wrong? Troy Clay's bracelet? What? At the hotel. A couple in dressing gowns. In a clinch. The girl was wearing a turquoise bracelet. That was you. My wife said she'd seen you and Donna in dressing gowns. Are you having an affair with our LMA? No, of course not. Oh, for Christ's sake, Sam, what are you thinking of? Look, Jimmy, it's none of your bloody business, Yes, right? it is. I know. That makes it my business. You're abusing your rank. It's not on, so end it, or I'll be forced to tell the captain. I don't know, and I was affected women. I just joined the fire brigade. Must be the light truck or something. I don't think it could happen. What? Someone like Amy falling for a bloke like me because he saves a life. <laughs> Where was scarce maybe before I start with crap? Out. Someone's got work to do. Mm, five years now we've been shipping cargo around Europe. I keep my own hours, see the wife all day. That's freedom. I'm a buccaneer at heart. How is the buccaneering business? What business? It's all gone up in smoke, hasn't it? But then that's uh, that's part of the thrill, I suppose, never knowing quite what each new day will bring. Are you a buccaneer, Mrs. Clark? 
I'm more of a buccaneer's cook and washer-upper. We're partners. Mums of the generation where the women go where a man leads her. Thank you, darling. Amy's been travelling around Africa for the last three years. On your own? No, I started with their VSO. They moved on to smaller aid projects. The Congo, Liberia, Sierra Leone. Really? Independence, you see? Runs in the family. Mm. Must be hard operating within such small margins. Some small operators, they, they cut corners. Skimp on equipment, maintenance, that kind of thing. Some do. I'd never put my family at risk, though. A fire was an accident, Captain Brooke. They can't happen even on the best run ships. That's true. Did you manage to salvage your passports? All of the clothes we stood up in, I'm afraid. Amy? No, her uh, dad was in charge of the passports. All I've got in my bag are clothes, books, that kind of thing. You'll have to meet immigration and customs when we tie up. Immigration? It's a routine procedure, Amy. Dad, we nearly died in that fire. And all they can offer us is red tape. <sighs> Honestly, give a bloke a uniform. Well, I'm sorry. It's just an expression. I quite like a man in uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Can have a very dangerous effect on a woman. Can't it, Sam? So I'm told. Hiya. I'm looking for Scouse. Well, he must be lost then, because he's never come in here before. Don't need you to. I'm a natural athlete. I saw you coming down this way. You better watch it, Amy. Well, you know it. We're trying to show you the Golden River. So what? Strike while the iron's up there, Scouse. So what's this Golden River, then? Just ignore it. Come on. <laughs> I don't like Have you seen those two? She must have cracked her head in a dick when she passed out. <laughs> First you help me on the boat, then you escort me to my cabin. What happens next? I better keep this open. What is this? People think you're showing me the Golden River, or whatever it is. Look, I want to repay you somehow, but that's all I've got in the whole world. Well, tomorrow we'll leave the ship. When you'll get deployed, we might never see each other again. It's weird considering. But the captain said something about a family's day, the day after tomorrow. Maybe I could masquerade as your sister or something. Yeah, that'd be great. I want you to take this as a deposit. I've had her since I was four years old. Taking her everywhere with me. She's the only thing of value I've got left. You will look after her for me, won't you? Sorry to keep it from your bed. I just need to check out a couple of these details. Have a seat. Your cargo. Your cargo was covered by insurance. The agents have it covered, yeah. And uh, what about the winter solstice? Yeah, yeah. If she wasn't covered, uh, we wouldn't be able to operate. You've had trouble with MCA coding in the past, haven't you, Mr. Clark? Well. They know we need the license to operate. They never make it easy. My understanding is you had to delay the last start date because of a lack of funds. We needed repairs. They were expensive. OK. When is the next renewal? In three weeks' time. You've got quite a checkered history, Mr Clark. <sighs> Conviction for fraud. That was years ago. Specifically insurance fraud. Look, it was an error of judgment. The sea is my life. Why would I want to risk that? I swear I did not start that fire. Throwing a wet blanket on an electrical fire is a basic devastating mistake, especially from an experienced sailor like yourself. The powder extinguisher didn't work. We had nothing else to fight the fire with. I panicked. We've been warned about the wiring. That's what this trip was for, to pay for the repairs and the license. Well, Peter may be a dreamer, Commander Brooke, but he would never put his family at risk. Dreamer? Is that what you think of me? God. 
The report on the fire shows a level of inconsistency that I'll have to pass on to the relevant authorities. What they make of it is up to them. The insurance company don't pay out. We're finished. I don't have a choice, Mrs. Clark. I'm sorry. I can't believe the old man sold them out. You didn't see the bloke. You stupid or what, trying to put that fire out with a wet blanket? You know they've got nothing except what they're standing up in. Well, they're lucky they're standing up at all. Oh, look who it bloody ain't. Son, please tell me you never fell for that night pass or soap carry on. Mm. How are you doing, Dave? Yeah. Done your porridge then? Oh, mate, nice to see you. You two still here? Yeah, no. yeah. The old man gave Lewis the float test, didn't he? And you've got a new boss. Came on when we talked. What's he like? What, Eddie? Oh, he's, uh, you know. You'll see for yourself. Yeah, definitely. Sir? I don't know what comes over me sometimes. <laughs> Had a close one yesterday after you'd gone. Maguire saw the bracelet you gave me. Had this weird look on his face, but then he just told me to stow it, so... We sit on for tonight? I, uh... I know family's day will drag on, but we could still get away. I miss you when we're on board. Yeah, I miss you too. Are you OK, Sam? Did you need something, or did you just want to look at my beautiful face? Yeah. Yeah, just wanted to look at your beautiful face. <laughs> Rumour has it, it's the Caribbean. Yeah? Not from where I'm sitting, it's not. This gas is all loved up. <laughs> it's not like that. What's it like then, scams? Just, just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Tell us about the DQs, Dave. Is Colchester as bad as they say? You know, I've known people crawl out of there. I did my time, kept my head down. Thought about my wife and kid. I'm not proud of what I did, you know? Not having a tattoo for commemoration. I take it you're LMEA Finnan. Uh, junior race miss, male. I'm charge chief Eddie Worthy, your new boss. And you should have reported to me the moment your feet hit the deck. You've got two choices. Play the ex-con or get back to where you were before the incident. Choose the first and you'll be off this ship before the end of Family's Day. Choose the second and I'll back you all the way. You won't have any trouble with me. Good. That's what I was hoping. Look, I've heard nothing but good about you. Should we start again? Sir? Everything in order? Totally. I signed on from Fleet Maintenance. My team replaced H1 Diesel, uh, but apart from that, we just had to scrub the place up. You and Andy Fellows knew how to look after Kit. Yeah, he's a good bloke. I'm sorry, this must be difficult for you. I shouldn't have... Uh... No. I'll face it sooner or later. It's uh, Theresa I'm worried about. My family's dying all that. She's gonna want to... Look. This isn't going to bring her father back, but, um... The balloons. Well, you've got a little girl, haven't you? Unless you want to paint the Jennies pink. That's straight, isn't it? Yeah. More's the pussy. Hate children. Hate children. So, how many kids have you got, Chef? Five. It's good going, since I never know. I'd love some kids, mate. <laughs> you have got it bad, haven't you, eh, you big girl? I love some kids. <laughs> Go on, do one, you big Jesse. <laughs> How do 
didn't take you for a dolly, boy, Scars. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Tell me. I found it in your bag. Who are you? This Scars has got a doll. What are you doing? Vicky, give us a back. Chef, 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 I had this, I had this. Well, I think you'll burn, mate. Give us a... Rose, Rose, Rose. I don't want it. Please, will you just give us it here? Come on, it was a present from Amy. Easy, mate. Didn't mean it. Oh, look at that. I've only had a five minutes and the stitching's ripped. Right, don't panic. We'll have it stitched up in no time. Well, how's I was supposed to know? Right. Jesus, it's pretty warm. If you just dish it up and give it back. Who stuffs a doll with rocks? You fixed it yet? Cheers. You bastards. Scouts. There's something you got no more. All I know is my so-called mates have wrecked a... We found them inside. We should report this. No. We've got to do something, Scats. Well, we put them back in and stitch it up. Well, what are they? I mean, they're obviously not legal. You said Amy had done a lot of travelling. Yeah? Well, you hear about travellers. You know, they pick up a bit of heroin, use it it's to fend It's not bloody it. heroin, is it? Well, it's not heroin. It could be uncut war diamonds, though. <laughs> they were. No. When we were serving off the coast of Sierra Leone, the old man gave us a warning about stuff we'd get offered. One of them was uncut war diamonds. It's properly legal. Use them as currency. Yeah, they was all getting processed by immigrations as well, weren't they? I mean, that's customs a lot. I'm telling you, bruv, no wonder she left the doll behind. Oh, just wait a minute. Amy wouldn't do something like that. Where there's money to be made, people will do anything. Have you announced to meet her again? Yeah, family's day. What? It's gas, it's obvious, isn't it? I mean, she's cleared customs. She's going to be coming back for the diamonds. She's coming back because I asked her. Look, there's going to be an explanation, and whatever it is, it's between me and Amy. Oh, really? Well, I hope she's worth it, mate. Because if you get involved, it's not just Colchester you've got to worry about. It's bloody Parker. My already am involved. The Suffolk will be setting sail in 30 minutes. For all the young pirates on board, there's a treasure trail down below. See if you can find the captain's gold. Hello, what's your name? This is Maxine. Hi, yeah. I don't want that bloody balloon. Language, darling. There he is. You like a balloon? Hello. How are you? Just Hello, Harry. Son, there you go. You're the captain. Want <laughs> a balloon, captain? Yes, please. Uh, there we are. There you go. Hello. Hey, love. Hey. Mm. Hey, Kate. Hey. So, what do you think? You want to see where you work? Oh. You sure? Of course. Oh. Ah, uh, bro! One more minute, please, Chief. Just to stop. Expecting someone are you scarce? Up you, you come, love. Nice. Byron, what's on your next deployment with your scarce? How do I look? I didn't want to let you down. No, about the doll, Amy. What? The stitching came undone. All right. Don't tell me all that was inside when you were four. No. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Sorry doesn't even cover it. Oh, and of course you know Sam Quatermain. Yes. Seen a lot of him recently. Almost more than I've seen my husband. <laughs> How's your uh, girlfriend? Donna? She's. Uh... Wait a minute, isn't that her there? No, no, that's our LMA. I need to cook.
stuff. You saved me life. How can I repay you and then do this? Scales, I meant everything I said. You used me, Amy. I mean, you gave me that all. All right, Scales. What are you, a diamond smuggler? I worked as a volunteer in Sierra Leone. I helped a family and their sick daughter. They wanted to repay me. I didn't know how much they were worth. Not how bloody difficult it is to get rid of them. I could see a way of getting my mum off the sea and it was a small house somewhere. She's too old to live like this. You okay? Well, it all looks so new, like nothing ever happened. No, I know. What were they finding? Over there. a new charge, Chief. Eddie Worthy, my wife, Teresa. Nice to meet you. Well, I wasn't expecting a woman. Neither was your husband. <laughs> There's something I want to show you. Uh, I haven't shown Dave yet. Um, it's something that all the repair teams do when there's been a fatality. <laughs> Thank you. It's all right. I can't believe they were so stupid. You mean being caught by June Maguire? It's got to be addressed. You know June's reputation for being really old Portsmouth. We could do more damage by making a big deal of this. Mm. I haven't seen you all afternoon. I'm sorry, darling. I just found out one of my officers is having an affair with a junior rating. Is that a crime? It's seen as a threat to discipline. Seems tough. All these twenty somethings cooped up together. What's the even expect? The rules are clear. Well, it all seem a bit daft. Well, what happens if we're at war and an officer refuses to give an order to his level? You're not at war. They're both waiting, sir. Better go and deal with it. So what was the plan? Get me to bring it ashore. Thank you very much and goodbye. Well, when you put it like that, yeah, it sounds pretty ungrateful after what you did for me. God, I do really like you. Just like? I wasn't expecting to end up in a fire. Or to be rescued by the Royal Navy. Or to meet you. But it doesn't mean that light can turn into something else. In time. Would that depend on me bringing the dollar show? No. Look, when your captain said immigration, I couldn't think of any other way. I really am sorry to get you mixed up in all this. Well, I want to be mixed up in it. Well, I want to be mixed up with you. You know, I won't think any worse of you if you don't do it. But I don't want to get you into trouble. If you want me to bring this dollar ashore, I will. The regulations are clear. So I want you both off my ship. It's not what you think, sir. So you're not having sex with a leading medical assistant? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. It's more than just sex. I meant to tell you, it just happened so suddenly. We love each other. We're planning to get married, sir. So, I've put this all back in me bunk like nothing happened. All we've got Scouts. to do is just keep quiet. Just leave it now, all right? Let's enjoy the rest of the day, yeah? the throat. Don't ask me, I hate the sea. Why'd you join up then? Get out of Toxteth. Is that where your family's from? Mm. I was going to join the army, but the recruitment office was shut, so just went down the pub. About five pints later, I found myself in front of this, this uh, Navy poster. Next thing I know, I'm on a bloody ship. <laughs> <laughs> Over. And I've bought my mum and dad a little house somewhere. We'll go to Montego Bay, drink cocktails at sunset. Uh, I prefer ice cold lager myself. 
<laughs> Come on, Maxine. Shit. That doll's not yours. Somebody's going to be looking for that. I found it, so it's mine. Come on, Maxine. The doll's mine. She left the east there. I was keeping her for her. All right, Maxine. Do not have it's it. Can we do something? Look, Come on, Maxine, just it's give us the doll back, yeah? I'm not yeah, Maxine, giving it back. Maxine, you're just going to the money for two weeks. Come on. Fine! Maxine, why did you do that? Come on, if it was one of your toys, you wouldn't have liked it, would you? That was our future. Your association with Lieutenant Quartermain is a serious breach of regulations. Yes, ma'am. But it didn't affect our work. That is for me to judge. Suffolk can't afford to lose people of your calibre, LMA. But I'm afraid that's what we're looking at. But it was just a bit of fun. It didn't do anyone any harm. You know the rules. I'll finish it. You have my word. Finish it? I understood you had wedding plans. Wedding? No. No, marriage has never been mentioned, ma'am. We do this by the book. They're both off the ship. That's fair. End of story. That would be two careers ruined, sir. Is that what we want? Where relationships are concerned, we've all made mistakes. What are you suggesting? As the officer involved, Sam should take responsibility. And he was the one who lied to you. There was never any arrangement to get married. Are you saying you believe the LMA over Sam? Yes, I am. What do you think we should do? I'll talk to LMA Cook formally about it. But she's due for training ashore and could rejoin when finished. Sam? I don't think we have any choice there, sir. He's off the ship. Maybe it's for the best. I mean, getting the dollar show is one thing, but trying to sell them on stodgy, man. Yeah, well, we'll never know now, will we? Someone will have a shock if that doll ever turns up. <laughs> yeah. I better go. How will I find you? I mean, is there a number I can call? No, I'll, I'll be in touch. Care of the Suffolk, Caribbean. We've got that date in Montego Bay, remember? What was it? Cocktails? Ice cold lager. Bye, Scouts. For you know. Yeah, it would have been nice to have someone ashore. Oh well. You always got us gas, didn't you? Yeah, but you two got each other. I'm just stuck playing bloody gooseberry. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? Me and Mickey were just mates. That's Give all. Me a break. You two mad about each other. Everyone knows <laughs> it except you. Do you hear there? Captain speaking. Thank you all for making Family's Day such an outstanding success. I can confirm that at 0800 next Monday, we will be sailing for the Caribbean, where we will be deployed for six months. So, pack some Factor 20, and congratulations again on passing force. That is all. All right, speak to you soon. All right, mate, throw a bite, right? Aye. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to show you the Golden Rivet. Have a couple of paracetamol in about four hours, OK? Sam? So? You're leaving already? When you're off the ship, you're off the ship. No messing. Sam, I'm, I'm sorry. I never... It's not fair, I'm just as guilty. But I'm the officer. Leading you astray. Maybe if you hadn't said all that about marriage. Maybe I meant it. 
but now we'll never know. Will we? Sam. Take it ashore. Some class clapping there, Mickey. Only for the love of a real man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. Dream on, mate. You fools, I've got a clear field at last. Oh, look out, beach babes. Here I come. <laughs> 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 I have the ship, sir. Driver like you stole them. 